everyone and welcome to our first official day of Read Across America. Yesterday I was approached by two students that had some really thoughtful questions that I'd like to share the answer with because you might be wondering the same thing. The first question is, does our stop, drop, and read count towards your reading challenge? And the answer is, it surely does. So you can look at your list and choose a book out of that 10 that you would like to read for Wednesday. And that will count during our stop, drop, and read. The second question was, on Friday, does it have to be your favorite Dr. Seuss character? And the answer is no, it can be any of your favorite characters. The choice is yours. I'm still contemplating which character I would like to choose and currently none of them are Dr. Seuss characters. So it's just a character that you really love and enjoy reading and want to share. But that's not why we're here today. We're here to kick off Read Across America with the Dr. Seuss Read Aloud. And I'm very excited about this one because this book was just recently published. What? Wait a minute. Didn't Dr. Seuss die in 1991? So how is this book just published? Hmm. Well, the answer is his wife, after his death, put a lot of his papers into a box and then shoved the box somewhere else. Later on, his secretary and assistant found the box, found this book that was almost completely done except for the colors on the illustrations. And they decided that they would put in the coloring and publish the book. And now I get to share it with you. And it's based on a question that we all might have asked ourselves at one point. And that is, what pet should I get? So as we follow this brother and sister in their journey to decide which pet would be best for them, I want you to be asking yourself, what is it that they need in order to have this pet? And what would be the best fit? I'll be doing the read aloud and then showing the pictures a little bit more closely. So let's work on this together as we do our first Dr. Seuss read aloud of what pet should I get? We want a pet. We want a pet. What kind of pet should we get? Dad said we could have one. Dad said he would pay. I went to the pet shop. I went there with Kay. And so we went in. I took one fast look. I saw a fine dog who shook hands, so we shook. So I said, I want him. But then Kay saw a cat. She gave it a pat and she said, I want that. Then Kay said, now what do you think we should do? Dad said to pick one. We cannot take home two. Then what do you know? We saw two other kinds. Now how could Kay and I make up our minds? A pup and a kitten, they looked like good fun. Now which would we pick? We could only pick one. The cat or the dog, the kitten, the pup. Oh boy, it is something to make a mind up. Then I looked all around. I saw something with wings. I said, look at him. We can pick one that sings. But then, look over there, said my sister Kay. We can go home with a rabbit today. Then I looked at Kay. I said, what will we do? I like all the pets that I see, and so do you. We have to pick one pet and pick it out soon. You know mother told us to be back by noon. And I could have done it. I could have, I bet. I could have said what pet we should get. But you know what Kay did? Do you know what she did? She said, fish, 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 fish. It may be a fish is the pet that we wish.
Then I saw a new kind and they were good too. How could I pick one? Now what should we do? We could only pick one. This is what my dad said. But how could I make up that mind in my head? Pick a pet fast. Pick one out soon. Mother and dad said to be home by noon. The time may be now to make up my mind, but who knows what other good pets I might find. I might find a new one, a fast kind of thing, who would fly around my head in a ring on a string. Yes, that would be fun. But our house is so small, this thing on a string would bump, bump into the wall. My mother, I know, would not like that at all. So maybe some other good kind of pet. Another kind maybe is what we should get. We might find a new kind, a pet who is tall. A tall pet who fits in a space that is small. My mother might like this pet best of all. If we had a big tent, then we would be able to take home a yent. Dad would like us to have a good yent, but how do I know he would pay for a tent? So you see how it is when you pick out a pet. How can you make up your mind what to get? But What if we took one of each kind of pet, then our house would be full of the pets we would get? No, Dad would be mad. We can only have one. If we do not choose, we will end up with none. I will do it right now. I will do it, I said. I will make up the mind that is up in my head. The dog or the rabbit, the fish or the cat. I picked one out fast and then that was that. Hmm, which pet do you think they chose? Hmm, I kind of like that Dr. Seuss doesn't tell us because it lets us make up our own mind about which pet they would choose. Now, if you had the chance, what pet would you choose? Would it be a made up pet, like the Yent that lived in a tent? Or would it be something more common, like a kitten or a dog? Maybe you would like a lizard or a bird that sings. Maybe you would like a snake. Ooh, I know I wouldn't. But what I want you to think about is, what pet would you get if you could choose only one? Which one would be the best choice for you and your family? So you gotta think about, what does it mean to take care of a pet? What does the pet need and what do you need as a pet owner? I know that it can be a challenge. You might have seen my pup earlier and I wish you the best of luck. Maybe you'll write it down. Maybe you'll invent one. I would love to see some invented pets. That would be fantastic. But the choice is yours, and I will see you around tomorrow.